when you focus on the breath, you want to give it your full attention. Be aware of the whole body breathing in, the whole body breathing out. Think of all of your nerves being awake, all the way down to the tips of the fingers, all the way down to the tips of the toes. Stay right here. When your awareness of your hands is in your hands, when your awareness of your feet is in your feet, each part of the body is aware of itself. It's hard for the mind to go slipping off. When the mind is just in one spot, it's very easy. You just drop that spot and you're gone. But if you've got many spots in the body where you're pinned down, you have to peel them all off before you can go anywhere. So this is one way of making sure that you're grounded right here, fully aware of what you're doing, fully intent on what you're doing. The Pali word citta has two meanings. One, you're training your mind, and two, you're training your intentness when you train that citta. So you were training intentness. Because remember, how did the Buddha find the truth? It wasn't by following somebody else's formula. It was by being fully aware of what he was doing, fully aware of the results. And it was because of that full awareness that he was able to guarantee that what he saw was true. When you're paying only half attention to this and half attention to something else, you can't really be sure that what you've seen is true. It was because he was fully sincere in what he was doing, fully devoted, fully committed to what he was doing. That's why when he found the truth, he knew it was the truth. Because who else could he go fall back on? There's nobody else that he could consult with and say, is this true or not true? So he had to make sure that he was true, so that he could find the truth. This quality of truthfulness is a really important part of the path. It applies to everything you do. As you're being generous, you really want to be generous. You give up whatever the item is with a happy heart. When you're observing the precepts, you're really careful to make sure that your intentions don't go wandering off someplace else outside the precepts at any time. As the Buddha said, you want to give unlimited safety to other beings, which means that you're not going to kill them, not going to steal them under any circumstances. When you develop thoughts of goodwill, you want to make sure they extend to everybody without exception. So be really thorough in what you're doing. Be true in what you're doing. So as you come to the meditation, you've developed these habits of being thorough and being true. And these can guarantee that what you're going to find is the truth, something you can really rely on. So the more reliable you are, the more reliable things you're going to find. And that's something you can choose, how much intentness you're going to put into the practice. The more intent you are, the more you're going to see, and the more you can trust what you see.